Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, Biotics Lab, Suicidal. It's going to be a uh, shorter episode <laughs> today than it was yesterday, or the last one. It'll be a normal sized episode, but the last one was a bit of a rambly one. We went on for quite a while. Um, <laughs> it went on quite a while. I'm still really excited about like living on a boat and stuff like that, but we'll, I'll, 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 I'll spare you the, the topic for today. So we played D&D this morning. I did end up staying up all night. Ugh, just horrible. I, I couldn't fall asleep is, is what happened. I just, I could not fall asleep. Um, you know, nothing was helping me get there. It, it was just, I couldn't fall asleep. I, I think I was just ultimately, I think, um, I was just too amped up about uh, the whole sailboat stuff. I, I just, I couldn't, like, I was, I was too excited and, uh, like, anxious about, um, like learning how to do this myself and and, and seeing how it goes that I, I just I could not fall asleep it was just not happening no matter what I tried sleep was not in the cards for me last night um, so I, I stayed up all night uh, we started playing at 7 a.m. the session didn't really go as plans uh, I had like a whole bunch of stuff planned for the session and then they just avoided literally all of it which was Back in the game. Amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, literally everything I planned for the session was completely ignored. So I'm like on literally zero sleep. Just completely tired at that point because like it was a few hours after I like I started getting tired around 4 or 5 a.m. was when I started to be like eh, I probably should go to sleep. But you know at that point in time it was only a couple of hours till um, like maybe 3 or 4 a.m. or whatever. It was only a few hours until we started playing d and I'm like, I don't know, I'm not going to go to bed for like a few hours and get up and, and play d and so I'll just stay up. It's fine. Whatever. Um, but then as the session started to drag on, I started getting really tired. And I was having like trouble keeping my eyes open and it was really hard to focus. And they were going completely off base with everything that was going on. So I'm like, I have to like figure out how all this stuff's gonna happen my brain's working on like overdrive figuring out how to make their their things work that they're making happen in the world because they're going completely off track <laughs> and I'm like oh no this is just like worst case scenario D&D &D session and I'm like just ex like tired as heck uh, it, was, it was a terrible experience all in all I had fun um, I think I did reasonably well for how like tired I was and how far off base they were going um because they literally ignored everything oh it made me so mad they they always do though and it doesn't matter what i plan like if i expect them to do one thing they'll do another and if i'm like well maybe they'll be consistent and do this they're like nah we're not gonna be consistent <laughs> there's just no consistency i can't predict what they're gonna do like ever it's terrible uh, and then last night i was so tired and like trying to figure out all the stuff on on the fly and like make up all the names for everything that they were going to and uh, everything like that, it was just, oh, it was, uh, by and large, pretty bad, um, experience. I had fun, but it was, it was, it would not want to do again. I only did it today because I had stayed up, uh, far too late. I'm getting a message over on the Type Racer Discord. I would like to see what it is. Uh, which shift am I supposed to use, the left one or the right one? Uh, ideally... You use both of them. Right shift for left hand keys and vice versa. Um, yeah, so. Oh, it's just terrible. Um, but it was, it was fun at the start because they wanted to. Uh, harass this bartender, right? Because uh, it was it, like one of the bartenders let them into this underground complex that had these uh, these weird um, uh, like windows to the outdoors, and then this weird underground complex that didn't exist to anybody else. So they had to like mention door under now underground and and like all that kind of stuff. Um, so they wanted to go and harass the bartender, but it wasn't the same bartender. I'm like, yeah, it's not the same bartender. Like, it's okay. I'm gonna go harass them anyway. So they approach them, and I'm like, you know what? You guys just get away with way too much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna guilt you on this one. So I made it like a, a little halfling girl, 
who was really nervous and had this like stutter and like just anxiety like um hi how, how can I help you you know <laughs> like like this really hyper nervous little girl that um is just trying to do her job and and uh, make life meet um <laughs> so one of the characters the the one who was like uh I'm gonna go harass the bartender is there I'm gonna go attack the bartender is like yeah I'm not gonna attack the bartender I don't really I don't really feel up to it anymore I'm like yeah that's okay that's that's you know you, you, I'm not gonna you know let everybody that you harass be um be uh you know an eight foot tall robot that uh, is just a punching bag Sometimes you're gonna have to to recognize the, the morals of the situation here, and uh, make your decision on whether your character would be willing to, to actually, you know, like make this moral decision on whether or not you want to, to do this. Now this was a fairly easy moral decision. Um, you don't attack the little girl, obviously. Can you hear that? I don't know if you could, um, but my cat was crying off in the background. Meow. Silly cat. Uh, so, anyway. Any hoozle, any hoozle. Uh, made them feel guilty about that. Another, one of the other players walks up and is like, if you're lying, we're gonna overthrow you into the ocean. So I made her like crying and, and bawling at the threat. And she's like, I'm not lying. I just, I have to pay. I just, I need to pay my mom's bills. She's, she's sick. And I'm like, you guys don't get to just harass everybody you want to harass, okay? There's consequences. These are people with lives and livelihoods. You know, you know. Feel bad for once. Um. So. They ended up uh, feeling pretty bad with that, but um, yeah, they they just they got super hung up on the the bartender for some reason, which I didn't expect. Like, there's like a green monster underground. And they're like, we should investigate. Let's start by talking to the bartender. Like, I don't know, I, I would have <laughs> gone and investigated the the underground maybe a little bit first. That's kind of what I I might have expected perhaps, but. It's not what happened, so change of plans, I suppose, but... I mean, change of plans is kind of like in the plans, you know? The plans are to change plans. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, it, was, it was a fun session. I was really tired, so towards the end of it, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Like 10 to 10 or something like that. Uh, they just finished fighting the bartender, almost killed him, and um, almost killed him on accident. They wanted to do non-lethal, but they almost continued wailing on him after they knocked him out <laughs> and almost killed him. Uh, so you know how to stay alive out there. they uh, a good instinct. we ended it there because I'm like I just I don't have the consciousness to continue running right now. Like I just I'm out of it. <laughs> So we had to we had to stop, and I went to bed. I didn't get a good sleep after that though. I woke up at like two thirty, you know. Only got maybe four and a half hours of sleep. Um, so I'm still quite tired, which is why it's only six thirty, and I've uh, I'm still recording the second episode here. Uh, you know, the first one was like an hour, so I would have been done, you know, I don't know, twenty minutes ago or something, right? Maybe half an hour ago. I don't know. Um. Hi. You can't shoot me if I run around in circles. You can't kick me if I run away in straight line. <laughs> See how I juke him there? See how I juke him? Aww. Oh, he went that way. Um... Yeah, so that was what uh, what happened this morning, and uh, I didn't get a good sleep. So I'm gonna be going back to bed pretty quickly after uh, after this, probably, is my guess. Either that, or I'll, I'll look into 
like how I would learn how to sail and stuff like that. Definitely I am not in shape for for sailing. A sailboat is not the right place to lose like a hundred some odd pounds. Not the not the right place to do that. <laughs> I mean it, it would be a good you could do it. You know, don't get me wrong. <laughs> the the weight would come off on the sailboat. Cause uh you know, you only have so much storage, right? So you can only like store so much food to, to eat in the first place, right? Um, so you're only going to be getting so many calories anyway, and then it's a lot of physical labor to, like, handle all the stuff. Just being on the boat is more labor than being on land, because you're, you're like, constantly kind of, like, shifting back and forth. So you'd lose the weight. It's just, uh, like, lo losing weight is, is a big, puts a lot of stress on your body. Um, and you don't want to introduce, like, problems like that when you're out on the water, right? So... Like, when I'm overweight and I'm still going to be losing weight, but not as overweight as I am now. Happily. 100%. Totally. I'm totally, totally fine with, like, going and joining a, a yacht club or, or something like that. Whatever it is that you do to, to learn how to, like, be on a sailboat and stuff like that. 100%. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, you know, whatever's going on with COVID right now and all that, too. So, um, but, you know, like, how do you even learn how to sail a sailboat during COVID? I don't know books and then buy a sailboat and <laughs> go do it I don't know dude um dunk uh <coughs> um any hoozle any hoozle uh, not talking about sailboats right now okay but uh yeah it's probably what I'm gonna do after this episode is just fall asleep or or research it Something a little bit more relaxing, a little bit more toned back. I wanted to uh, to get this these videos done um, before it was like too late, and I was uh, like too tired and not able to focus on the game and stuff like that. Cause right now I'm I'm tired, but I'm I'm manageable tired, you know. So, uh, but uh, you know, in a, in an hour or so, when I would normally be recording, hour and a bit, I'll probably be a little bit more tired, a little bit more. Uh, little less inclined to do some recording than uh, normal so just uh, keeping an eye out for that you know yeah I don't know I'll have to, have to look into to sailboat living it'll probably be a topic of conversation like a, a topic in videos for for quite a while it'll, it'll probably join the the regular rotation of um, of, of topics that we have here Um, cause, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, really, 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 I don't know, boats have always been a passion of mine. A passion of mine that's out of reach because of, uh, financial reasons, but, uh, passion nonetheless. I don't know, but, like, passion might be an interest, I suppose. I don't have a passion in them yet, I guess, but definitely a, a very strong interest. Um, that I just haven't been able to afford. So, now that I'm thinking about maybe affording it, it's it's definitely going to be coming up in, uh, in topics from time to time. It'll join the regular rotation along with um, you know, Minecraft, uh, RuneScape on occasion, uh, a little bit of uh, manga and anime from time to time, and then um, oftentimes on, on the weekends I, I talk about uh, not liking the weekends, and then uh, and every now and then we'll, we'll add in a sailboat episode. Or... Um, Something of that nature. <clears throat> you know, it'll probably replace the um, the moving out discussions. Kind of replace them with uh, alternative lifestyle discussions instead. For the most part, I'm guessing. I love KF2 though, man. Like, it, it, like I, I've talked about it a few times. But uh, KF2 is... It's like not my favorite game. But it's without question the game that I am like, I don't know, like most f intimate with, I guess. It's like the game that means the most to me, you know what I mean? Um. Dunka. And, uh. Just say, like, I, you know, it's got the whole YouTube stuff going on with it, right? Dunka, dunka, dunka. I'm going up this way, dude. Nah, I'm, I'm taking the little. 
you know, research area. Analysis monitor. Something, something, something. Okay. You don't use your... This is like a, a weird version of um, Windows 10 with Ubuntu. Like combination of the two. With uh, like some 14-year-olds. Uh, I did my own desktop customization. How do I make Iron Man wallpaper? That's what that is right there. That's what it is. That's what we call it. In the uh, in the rising world. No, I thought I hit him, dude. I thought I was gonna hit him. I thought one of those shots would have done it. I didn't see the explosions, so I should have known that it wasn't happening. Dunka dunka. Oh. It's hard when you're like bobbing, you know what I mean? Because like, you get hit while you're in the air. You kind of like bob a little bit, especially during Zed time. Kind of like bob a little. It's okay, it's okay. We don't worry about the, the, the camera bob. We worry about not getting hit. Okay, problem solved. Problem freaking solved, dude. Problem freaking solved. Any hoozle, any hoozle. I look forward to the next session of D&D because we're probably going to finish up this uh, this uh, current like character arc. Which will be fun. On to the next one. And then uh, I'm hoping that one will be like one or two sessions and then it'll probably be like a conclusion to the whole adventure. And then they're out. So it's, it's like... It's not far away now that uh, that they get to be finished with this section of the campaign, which I'm liking a lot. Planning it and all that, it's fun, but uh, it's, just, it's just really hard since like the like everybody's kind of required to be there, and it's really hard to get everybody together at the same time. Um, also, kind of sucks being like West Coast, because even on days when like. I do get to sleep. I don't get much sleep. You know, like I'm I'm typically getting up partway through my sleep and then DMing, and then like returning to sleep. <clears throat> uh, which is, I mean, I don't like it's not that bad. You know, um, like I feel like a lot of people think that uh, you know sleeping and then getting up, doing something for a couple of hours, and then going back to sleep is like a huge like detriment to, to, to how well you slept and how good you feel. I honestly, like, I think it almost makes me feel better from, like, a physical standpoint of, of how good do you feel. Um, but, um, it, it's a lot harder to, like, build it into a schedule, you know what I mean? And without a reason for it, excuse me, I got, like, kicked up some burps and stuff. Without a reason for it, it's just it's just not something I'd ever motivate myself to do, you know? I do think I feel better when I do it. It's just, like, it's a lot of planning and, um, like, organizing and, like, alarms and stuff that, uh, like, I just I don't want to deal with unless I have to, you know? Um, but something like, uh, you know, like a night watch on a, on a sailboat or something like that is, is honestly, um, outside of the fact that you're in the, pit, you know, pitch black or something like that, it's, it's not actually that bad from like a how well did you rest perspective um it's actually it's actually fine you know um but uh i just I, I typically i don't have a reason to so i don't bother with all of the logistics behind it um even though i do feel like i, I typically get a better rest when i do i used to uh, deliver papers um I think I've talked about this before, and I would deliver, um, Let the area get like, part of them. I, I, would, I would sleep, get up, deliver papers, come back home, go back to sleep. That way I didn't have to, like, completely mess up my sleep schedule. I'd go to bed a little earlier than I normally would and wake up a little later than I normally would. Um, but it wouldn't be, like, going to bed way later or way well, earlier and waking up way later armor. or way earlier. It was just kind of like both of them kind of got, like, pushed out and then there was like a section added in in the middle you know what I mean which was fine 
and I actually quite enjoyed the the rests that I got there, which were, were really actually quite nice. And at no point in time, either like during the the delivery or during the rest of the day, was I actually like tired. It's, it's a weird thing, but you kind of like get used to it, and it's just it's fine. Totally fine. He's right behind us, dude. Um. So I don't really mind the split shifts for D and D. Uh, it's just a late, like it's not a regular occurrence, so like you don't really get used to it. You just kind of have to do it on occasion, and then that's not really so great. It's fine when it's like a regular thing, but when it's not, it's it's kind of kind of not so great, honestly. But when it is a regular thing, it's like completely fine. Please, 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 please don't. Thank you. Um, so I like, even when I, uh, even when I do get a, a good sleep, I, uh, or even when I do get sleep, I don't get like much. So it still ends up feeling pretty bad. Um, but I mean, it's just, it's just, uh, you know, it's the fact of living on the being, being the person who lives, you know, in the earliest time zone. It's just kind of what happens. On occasion, especially because my sleep schedule is, is kind of like getting later and later every night right now. Because I'm kind of like trying to stay up more at night when I kind of get the house to myself. Um, so it's it's a little bit, you know, but oh well. It's gonna do it for today. Bit of a shorter episode relative to the last one. Bit of a longer episode relative to the one before, perhaps. But uh, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. My voice is like hoarse right now. It's, I got like the throat pain from talking so much. Uh, and that's, thank, uh, yeah, bye.